I would say as a general proposition that everybody's got to make some adjustments to new fiscal realities. On the other hand, uh, some of what I've heard coming out of Wisconsin where uh, you're just making it harder for public employees to collectively bargain generally. Uh, seems like more of an assault on unions. Uh, and I think it's very important for us to understand that public employees, they're our neighbors. They're our friends. They make a lot of sacrifices and make a big contribution. And I think it's important not to vilify them uh, or to uh, suggest that somehow all these budget problems are due to uh, public employees. As I mentioned uh, repeatedly over the last couple of days, certainly the thousands of people uh, here and outside the Capitol have every right to be heard. But I want to make sure that not for one moment are their voices drowning out the voices of the millions of taxpayers all across the state of Wisconsin. Wisconsin state senators are expected to reconvene today to debate a controversial anti-union measure. Republicans hold a majority there, making approval likely, but some Democrats retaliated yesterday by leaving the state, reportedly checking into an Illinois hotel. That effectively blocked a vote and energized thousands of protesters crammed inside the Capitol who are rallying against the effort to cut public workers' benefits and collective bargaining rights. Still, Republican Governor Scott Walker insists the bill is needed to ease a budget crunch. I continue to work, and I'm calling on the members of the state Senate to show up and do the job that they're paid to do as well. Um, they don't have to agree with everything we propose, uh, but they should, on behalf of the people who pay their salaries, show up to work. Um, and so uh, right off the bat, I want to make a plea, as I have throughout this afternoon, that uh, all the members of the state Senate, including the Democrats uh, who are currently in the minority, uh, take it upon themselves to fulfill the duties uh, that they were elected to do. And school districts across Wisconsin will close today in order to allow staff to attend a rally in Madison. Are you, are you kidding me? No. I, I They're told shutting you. down the state. I'm, you see these, these young students, Mike, you know, and instead of trying to end a war, they're trying to make sure that state employees don't have to pay 3% of, of, of their salary to, or 4% of their salary for health care benefits. They are trying to make sure that these people do not have to pay what every other American who works outside of government has to pay. Are, are you serious? You're going to shut down schools because you have a union that is so greedy that they want their people to be held to different standards than working class Americans who sometimes pay 15% of their salaries to benefits. Well, shutting down the schools is certainly not going to help the cause here. Uh, you know, but it's exactly what we were talking about yesterday with Ed Rendell. There is a point at which you begin to demonize public employees. Who's, uh, who's demonizing? Nobody's demonizing public employees. Well, they are in Wisconsin. Oh, how were they doing that? By saying, hey, we're not going to let you get a free ride anymore on benefits that <laughs> Mike Barnacle and, and a truck driver and somebody that runs a restaurant has, it, has to pay for their benefits? As I, as I understand it. Do you think they should pay zero or 2% no, for no, their benefits? No. That's what this is about. But I, my, as I understand it, they are willing to sit down to talk about paying a heftier percentage into their pension plan and into their health care plan. Mm -hmm. But at the, at the end of the day, it seems to me that what the Republican-controlled legislature wants to do here, and it's understandable, yes. is to bust the union. But the, the, what they have now, the benefits that Wait, they have now. When you say now, bust the union, what do you mean? Make, just, them, make it, them actually it, it, pay for their benefits like 200 million other Americans but Joe, they didn't, pay for their benefits? They didn't steal their benefits. No, no they, they didn't. didn't. That's and, fine. And, and, I know. And, and, Wait, but do those so kids that are out the, the bill street, is coming do they due now. Have they have the to pay money? part of the bill. Do, you, do, do those kids in the streets really think that Andrew Cuomo are Jerry Brown are doing this for their health? The teachers ought to be in classrooms today. I mean, how they sick ought to be is in it the classroom. that children are not learning in Wisconsin today because teachers don't want to pay the same benefits, same money for benefits that the rest of Americans have Far to pay? Far less. How sick is that? Far less. They pay nothing. Far less. You, you know, in New Jersey, six. they paid 0%. Christie tried to do 2%, and they're freaking out. Here's the deal in Wisconsin. The state of Wisconsin, they want the public employees to pay 5.6% into their health care. No, 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 no. The no, average no, no. is 20%. They would have to pay half their pension costs and at least 12% of their health care costs. This is according to the Washington Post. That's Tw the 12%. 5.6% is the pension. 5.6% is the pension. 12 12% is into the health care plan. The average 
in the public sector is you pay 20 percent into your health right. plan. So, so, so all they're trying to do in Wisconsin, John Meacham, is to try to get public employee unions to pay half of what the rest of Americans pay for pensions. And these teachers, over a thousand of them had sick outs yesterday. The Democrats fled to Illinois, <laughs> another state. <laughs> and now teachers are not going to allow students to learn today in classrooms because they may have to pay half of what everybody else pays on benefits. This doesn't seem like a good thing for Democrats to do to gain the upper hand in Wisconsin politics. I don't think it's, a, it's an image win today. The optics, as we say, are not great. Uh, I, you know, if the government, which is one of the, huge, one of the largest employers, the federal government, state governments, if they don't make the same adjustments that the private sector has been forced to make by market forces in a more complicated time, then you know, you're going to have more and more of this. And I think that you, know, you have to talk about it. You have to explain it. I don't, I don't know the details of the governance in Wisconsin. But on the merits of it, everybody has to be paying more. Well, the and, governor and they, is characterizing I mean, this as a modest proposal. If they uh, fight it, it will be the end of the year. You know, it is a modest proposal. Do you know what a fair proposal would be? Hmm. To make them live by the same rules that every other person in Wisconsin lives by. Okay, so do they want fairness? Let's give them fairness. Let the public employee unions pay uh, members pay the same into their pensions and pay the same into their retirement and, and health care that everybody else in Wisconsin pays. Let's just have fairness. Let's have a level playing field. Okay, What's wrong with that? Can you see why they're a little upset, no, though? No. Oh, come on. They've well, been given a free know. ride because, because past governors, past state legislators caved because they were afraid. And by the way, I'm not bashing public unions. When I, when I ran, I had a lot of union people. I probably won the union vote every time I ran. I don't trust anybody that watches this show. Knows, I don't trust corporate interests. I, I don't. I mean, you need that balance. But this is, again, we say it all the time, Willie, this is about math. You can't get by with these type of pension programs that first destroyed Detroit, which Detroit now understands. Yep. And that was destroying the balance sheets of every state in America. And the irony is, if you believe Governor Walker's logic, is he's got to do this to save the jobs of public employees because they're going to run deficits so high that they're going to have yeah. to have layoffs. So yeah. he's but, trying, he has to get through to them that if you'll just take this cut and pay a little bit more in, we can, save, we can save more jobs. And this, is the, and this is what we're going to see across the country. People are watching this well, from New Jersey to New York to California. We're going to see this scene play out. I mean, we all know people who have lost their jobs or had to take some reduced set of circumstances in the last three years right. in the private sector, and particularly in the fields which with to which we're most associated. And if the government doesn't react to the new economic realities, this is not 2007. Now, I will tell you, uh, and uh, one of the big things that's going on in Wisconsin, the governor is trying to eliminate collective bargaining, which raises a much right. larger question. Sure. That, that's part but of it. It raises a much larger question. Should public unions have collective bargaining? And I think that's what the huge battle is right there. Listen, private unions, yes. Because I think we all understand corporations need to be checked, especially when CEOs destroy companies and they get golden parachutes of $200 million, $300 million. I mean, the, the, the pay inequity for, for workers and people running corporations these days is absolutely sick, and it's inequitable. So but, ju but, but just like, we say, like we've been saying here, everybody's got to take cuts. And... These public employee unions think, are going to have to play by the rules that everybody else has played I, for I over a generation. I completely agree that everybody has to take cuts. Uh, I, I think in Wisconsin, though, we're seeing a pretty natural reaction to what is not a modest proposal, but perhaps a necessary one. I'm not going to argue right. that. Protests are spreading. Can, Ohio can I ask you a really is quick likely question? to vote uh, within weeks on can, a similar limit on public employee yeah, rights. Let me ask you a really quick question. Do you think that public union members should live by different rules than other people in Wisconsin, or should they pay the same for their pension plans, which are better than a lot of private pension plans, and, and their health insurance, should they pay the same percentage that the rest of Wisconsin 
people pay. I, I think that it's understandable that if there is a drastic change to their financial situations and the way they organize their future, that they might be a little bit upset. So whether or not it's fair or not that, that it applies across the board is not what's going on here. You know, and I can say this as somebody whose father lost his job and was out of work for two years. You know what's worse, having to play by the rules that everybody else plays by? Not having a job. Well, and they have a choice right now. They can either be unemployed or they can live by the rules that everybody else lives by. What do you because think of the Democrats? No money. We're out of money. What do you think of the Democrats leaving the state Boy, as part stupid. of this? Uh, that was stupid, and it was it's stupid for these teachers, John, not to be working yeah. today. And again, it makes them look greedy. They, uh, they people selfish. The, selfish people in Wisconsin, Democrats and Republicans alike, are going to go. Oh, wait a second. They're not teaching my kid today because they may have to pay half of what I pay into my pensions. I just wonder, can you care about the future of the United States and Wisconsin and the health of this country and say that we need to be responsible in spending and not be anti-union?